Hello, I'm Peter C. Hayward. Today I'm playing a game called Doodle God. Uh, Doodle God I think you can find for free at doodlegod.com. I should have probably looked it up beforehand. But I am playing the iPad version on my iPad here. Uh, in this game you basically combine elements. I've played it through once before and from what I remember, the free version is excellent. The paid version is excellent until it gets past where the free version was, and then it kind of turns to shit. So I'm going to, I'm going to play, try to play it the whole way through, probably not today. Let's go. As you can see, I'm 0% of the way through. If I recall correctly, it's good up until like maybe technology or a bit later. Uh, so I'm going to play the main game. I haven't actually seen any of the other things, so maybe I'll check them out later. Beginning. Uh, so is there any way of getting the... Uh, to, to, to arrange myself on the screen, how do I gesture it to it? To arrange myself on the screen here, I had to go in, uh, so we missed the story, but basically there's four elements. The game is combining elements. So you tap one, you tap another. Oh, okay, so th these are groups of elements. How do I go back? So these are groups of elements. I can go into fire and earth, combine fire and earth, and I will get lava. If your heart is a volcano, how shall you expect flowers to bloom? I am not going to read all of those out. Oh look, there's little Wikipedia links. That's cool. Uh, what's this button do? Some kind of rocket ship? I don't know what that is. I don't like free stuff, I'm going to say. I just earned some points. Yay! Uh, what? <laughs> okay, so basically if I if I want to let this thing give me money to play this game, I can. I won't, I'm just going to play it. So, uh, early game is just you've got very few elements. So I've got water, I've got air, I've got earth, I've now got fire and lava, and you combine them. So I'm pretty sure water and water... Uh, so I'm pretty sure water and fire make steam? Alcohol! Fire water, of course. Uh, oh fuck, I keep thinking that button is the one that you meant to press. It's a very, very kid-friendly game that I'm going to be swearing through. Um, what is all this? I just want to play the game. No, go away. None of these things. I don't want the new prizes. Wow, that's really annoying. Uh, if possible, I would recommend just playing this game. Most of this game, by the way, is literally just like tapping every possible combination. Dust. No! Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to recommend that you don't play the iPad version because it seems to be full of really annoying spammy ads. Um, I'm going to combine water and lava. I think I'm going to get clay or mud. Stone and steam. Oh, i got two things. Let's see. If I combine water and steam, maybe? What have we got? Stone, stone and water will make something. Clay. Sand. Wow. This. Oh, okay. So this is actually not an ad. This is get into the wild with a new exciting quest. No, thank you. I will do that later. Just gonna play the base game for now. Uh, what do we got? Can try water and sand. I really want to make clay. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. No, water and earth. Swamp. Ooh. Now, swamp, if I recall correctly, is how you get life. You combine swamp with like electricity. Uh, electricity. Oh, okay. I reckon steam. We can use to make clouds. Do we have steam? Yes. Steam and water. Air and water. To make. Oh, that is steam. Um, water and dust? No? Yeah, the majority of this game is just randomly kind of clicking things. Fire and dust makes, if I recall correctly, smoke. Ash. Uh, and then I reckon ash and water will make something. Nope. Swamp and anything? Oh, there's hints. Uh, alcohol and fire will make an explosion. Energy! Haha! <laughs> okay, and then maybe... Energy and oh, got a new one. Energy and I'm gonna say dust. No, uh, energy and I don't know. I'm trying to make oh, energy and air made a storm. Stone and stone will make fire. I bet. Yes. <laughs> Like I said, I have played this before, so this is not just entirely random guessing. Oh crap, I just did that. Um, but the game by default sort of turns into random guessing, and that's why I think it's, it gets a bit bad, because you get to the point where you've got 140 elements and you're just literally trying every possible combination. Uh, water and sand I've done, I'm pretty sure. Water and earth made something. 
Let's try Swamp and Energy. Life. That's how you get life. Okay, then what I like about this is that it's got kind of mythological elements to it. So if you start adding life with, say, dust, no? Life and ash make a ghost. <laughs> Which is, you know, we're sort of straight away from science here. Uh, let's bring a ghost to life, no? Uh, okay, let's add life to stuff. I reckon life to stone will make a golem. An egg. Oh, right, yes, life. And uh, What can we put an egg with? Egg and life? No. Egg and water, maybe. Egg and swamp. Make a lizard! Haha! -ha. Okay, yeah, cool. I've still got this... Okay, I'm going to click to the quest just to see if that'll make it stop hanging around. Do I want to pay for it? Right, okay, I understand a bit more now. That's why they're pushing it so heavily? No. Um, I swear I bought this and it didn't have all these ads, so maybe they've added ads into it. What happens if we combine lizards? <laughs> we get an egg. Uh, lizard minus legs would give us snake, I reckon. Oh, lizard and earth is beast. Some of them are a little bit too abstract, and like I said, once you get past the free ones, the abstract ones are, are really strange. So, let's... Beast and life? Human! Of course, because beasts are not alive, humans are... Yep. Ah, and then we've got human. So let's give a human alcohol. That should be fun. Alcoholic! <laughs> so we've gone straight from animals in general to humans to alcoholics. Uh, what else can we... Human and fire will make ash? Corpse! Ooh. Oh, but what happens if we get a corpse and life? Zombie? Zombie! Here we go. Uh, zombies are generally weak to fire, I think? No. What if I bring a zombie to life? Can't. Um, ghost and human? Ghost and corpse? Zombie and human will make a zombie. No, zombie and human makes nothing. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, ghoul. Cool. Uh, what have we got? We've got heaps of stone things left, heaps of water, oh, a few water things left, heaps of undead, heaps of animals. Okay, what other animals can we make? Beast and air, make a bird, no? Nothing. Um, beast and beast? Beast and lizard. Beast and egg. Beast and fire? Beast and human. Werewolf. Domestic animal. Oh, cool. That one makes sense. And then let's see if we can eat the domestic animal. Wool, milk, and meat. Eh, yeah, that's quite a, quite a collection there. Milk and alcohol, maybe? Meat and fire should make a steak, I guess. Nope. Wool and human? I like wool and knitting. Meat and ghost. No, meat and zombie. Oh, cool. So I've finished all of the air ones. Got heaps of life left to go. Energy and anything. Life and meat. Egg and milk. It's a healthy breakfast. That's what that should make. Human meat. No, I did all these, didn't I? Um. Not sure. Let's add water to things. Water and fire. Alcohol, I did that. Uh, water and beast. A whale! <laughs> That's so specific. Where does I go? Water and lizard. Nope. Whale and... Whale? Whale and human. No. Um... Nothing. Okay, what else have we got? We've got heaps of rocky things and we've got a few fiery things. Sand and fire. Glass! Oh, right, yes, that is actually how you make glass. Uh, glass and humans, maybe? Nope. Glass and sand. Glass and... Glass and fire. No. 
Where's glass go? It's glass and water? Glass and energy. Glass and life. Uh, okay, so what do we got? We've got heaps of fire things. We've got heaps of earthy things. Lava and anything doesn't do anything. Fire and stone? Oh, it makes metal. Can humans use metal? I'm pretty sure... Oh, yes, they can. Tools! Haha, -ha, I don't care about that. That's really annoying. I wish there was a way to turn that off. Oh, apparently I've got enough karma for it. So maybe I will check that at some point. Okay, so now we've got tools. Let's use the tools on glass. On metal. Ooh, weapons. Let's stab a human with a weapon. As you can see, it's quite a fun little game. Um, Hunter, and now let's hunt some beasts. <laughs> Wool, meat, and blood. Uh, what can blood go with? Blood and life? No. Blood and humans. So do you make vampires? Yes, vampires. And then I'm pretty sure, if, uh, from memory, if you use a vampire with a human, you get another vampire. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, vampire and fire should give us dust. Oh, come on. Why can you not set anything on fire? Okay, what else can we use tools on? Or weapons, even. Weapons on domestic animals. Weapons on humans, I did. That gave us a hunter. Weapon on hunter gives us a warrior. Okay, I guess... A warrior is a human plus weapon twice. Warrior and warrior should give me war. Warrior and human. Warrior, corpse, and blood. What if a warrior attacks a hunter? Yeah, as I was saying, it's actually quite a fun little game. Uh, it's really quite addictive. I'm going to play this maybe until the end of this first group. Or until I just get absolutely stuck, which means I'll, st I'll stop. Uh, can a vampire eat a beast? Ah, werewolf a bit. Yep. Vampire and Beast is Werewolf, I'll play that. that, that makes a certain amount of sense. Uh, werewolf and Human should make another... No, Werewolf and Hunter. Werewolf and Warrior? Zombie and Warrior. Vampire and Hunter. Oops, you've done that one. Werewolf's got to go with something. Do these go on each other? No. What if I bring a Werewolf to life? Werewolf and energy, werewolf and blood, vampire and blood? No. Um. Okay, so we've got five left there, none left there, a few left here. Oh, let's just use more tools. Tools seems really generally applicable. Tool and earth gives us field. Oh, that's a new category entirely. Uh, let's try field and tools. Let's try field and human. Oh, field and beast, that'll work. No, nope. field seems to be useless. Oh, I reckon there's a plant thing. How can we get plants? Uh, what? Energy, maybe? Egg? <laughs> How would you get plants? I don't know. I'm going to go back to tools and just general things. Um, tools and human? Tools and alcoholic. <laughs> alcoholic and a weapon? No. Um, so, I've done tools and earth, I've done tools and metal. Tools and stone? No. Just going to use tools on everything. Oh, tools and wool made fabric. Okay, fabric and human should surely give us something. Clothing? Yes. Uh... So we've got fabric, fields, and clothing. What if I dress up a human? Nothing. What if I dress up an animal? Nothing. Okay, let's go back to tools. Tools is getting us some decent places. Tools and egg. Tools and energy. Tools and life. Tools and beast. Tools. No. There are hints. Uh, I'm going to try not to use them because I don't find it very interesting to do that. What else have we got that's new? I reckon storm's got to be used to make electricity somehow. Storm and air? Storm and energy. No. I want to discover electricity. 
I was going to say, I want to discover electricity so I can create life, but I've done that quite a while ago. That's not really a priority at the moment. Uh, I don't want tools. I've done all of them. So yeah, the, the game quite often results in like finding something and then testing it on every single thing in the game. Um, alcoholic I haven't used much, but I don't think he's actually good for anything. I think he's more of a jokey joke. Uh, field? I feel like I must be able to invent plants somehow. What are plants after all, but eggs with life? Swamp. Swamp will, will give me plants. Okay, where's swamp? I am not good at finding swamp. There we go. Swamp and egg gives us lizard. That's right. Swamp and energy gives us life. Swamp and life gives us bacteria. Ooh, <laughs> I kind of skipped evolution entirely and went straight to straight to lizards. Uh, what will bacteria give us? Can I combine bacteria with bacteria? What about humans? Bacteria and human. What are bacteria good for? I mean, I understand in life what bacteria are good for, but what in this game are they good for? Can I use tools on bacteria? No. Bacteria in water gives us plankton. Can I feed plankton to the whale? No. Uh, plankton and water? No. Plankton and life? Plankton and plankton? Plankton and bacteria give us fish. Okay, that, that, that one is a stretch for me. Maybe I'm not biologically sufficient, but I don't really understand why that happened. Fish and tools, fish and human. Fish and hunter. Fish and fish, fish and plankton. <laughs> Give me whale, of course. Fish and plankton equals whale. Bacteria and fish, no? So I'm no closer to plants, which I think is the trick to use field. Um, I don't know. Do I combine these with themselves? Um, okay, I'm kind of stumped. I'm going to try a few more things and then I might call it a video. Uh, I'm probably going to keep playing this, I really enjoy this game. I don't think there's been any Let's Plays of it, and I, I really like Let's Plays. If I enjoy a game, I want to go online and watch Let's Plays, so my aim is just to get a heap of Let's Plays out there for videos, for, for games that I like. Uh, but I'm looking like I'm at a dead end at the moment. Maybe I can put fish in water. No. So, I'm going to end this one here. I'm Peter C. Hayward, thank you for watching me. Uh, let me know if you got any feedback and check out Doodle God. I will I will find the website and I'll put it in the box below if you want to play it yourself or you can get it on iPad or just Google Doodle God actually. I'm not gonna put it in there. You can do the effort.